Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In the previous episode, I showed you guys how to work with your speed and duration of a clip. In this episode, I'm going to be going through time remapping. Time remapping is basically where you take a shot that was shot at a higher frame rate, and you are going to be able to slow down portions of it or speed up portions of it, and kind of change that. You can change it on a curve, you can change it linear in a linear fashion, and we're going to go through that. So first of all, we've got this clip over here. This clip was shot with the Sony camera, uh, so Sony mirrorless camera, and uh, that camera, it's this A7S II, it shoots at 120, it can shoot up to 120 frames per per second at uh, the 1920 by 1080 resolution. It won't do it at 4K, but it will do it at 1920 by 1080, which is pretty dang good. So I've got this clip in my timeline. I'm going to cut it down just to the portion that I need here uh, as we move through this. And actually, let's, let's take a look at it as we play through this. As we play through it, that was shot at 120 frames per second. But when you bring the footage in and you play it back, it plays it back at 120 frames per second, which look, makes it look like it is regular which makes it just look like it's in regular motion. It looks a little kind of weird and video-ish, kind of quick. There's a lot of frames that it's playing back there. So I'm going to delete this clip out of the timeline, and we're going to do something to the clip before we take it into the timeline. You've got to reinterpret the clip to have it play back at a different frame rate. So we're going to right-click on the clip, or the clips, if you have several clips, you can right-click on the clip or clips and go to Modify, and go to Interpret Footage. Interpret Footage is going to tell it what to play back at. Right now, it is uh, using the frame rate that it was shot at. So I'm going to say, assume this frame rate is, and I'm going to say 23.97. Six. If you want to, if you are editing in a, if you are editing in a 24p timeline, if you're doing 30 frames, you can do it at 30 frames instead. But I'm going to do assume that I'm doing kind of the film frame rate and do it at 23.976, which is essentially 24 frames per second. Hit OK, and it now has changed its frame rate. One thing that you'll notice here is uh, the time that this lasts. The video duration is 32, 32 seconds, 12 frames. If I undo that and go back to the previous frame rate, notice it's only 6 seconds and 15 frames. So it literally changes the duration because it's stretching all those frames that it shot over a longer time and uh, only playing back 24 frames per second instead of the 120 frames per second is going to make it last longer. So let's bring that back, redo it. And now I'm going to edit it down to the just the portion that I need. Double click on it, find that clip's in point, right about there, in point, play through it, and out point. That's the whole clip that I want there. And I'm going to create, uh, and I am going to create a different timeline here, one that is at, one that plays back at 24 frames per second. So I'm going to do a new sequence, and uh, DSLR says it's 1920 by 1080. It's fine, and I'm going to do 24 frames per second, which is 23.976 uh, frames here. And I'm going to say final. All right, so that's my timeline there. I'm going to grab this clip, drop it down into my timeline. I'm going to zoom up to it a little bit. I'm going to get rid of audio. I don't want to listen to audio. I'm going to get rid of audio. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option, select that audio, and delete it, and we're just going to work with the video. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we have some space here because this... I'm going to hold down Alt and scroll over this because you want some room to be able to do your time remapping in here and have a lot of control. So this keyframe right here is uh, by default controls opacity. If we drag that down, if we drag that down, it basically uh, makes it uh, transparent, so we don't want that. I'm going to right-click on this little Effects tab right here, and we're going to tell it that we want to see Time Remapping and Speed under the Time Remapping section. Now I just turned my keyframing item right here into Time Remapping. So as we play through this, watch this. It's going to be slow motion now. Now it's playing back 24 frames per second of the what was originally shot at 120 frames per second, and we have legit slow-mo. In film terms, you'll hear people say over-cranking and under-cranking. Over-cranking is when you're shooting more frames per second, and under-cranking is when you're shooting less frames per second. And, bo and both those techniques are used for different results. So what I want him to do is, let's say we want him to come flying off the slope here at regular speed, and then he's going to slow down in the air just to show, show that little move there, and then he'll speed up and drop out of the out of the shot. And that is going to be, and that is what we're calling time remapping. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of preserve that section in the middle where we want it to go into slow mo, maybe right about there. And what we're going to do is going to hold down control or command and move over to our keyframe area here and click and add a keyframe right on that frame there. Now I'm going to move over and find out where I want him to speed up again. Maybe about right there. The move's done. So I'm going to click there and add another keyframe. Now it's pretty simple from here. If you can kind of do the math and figure out what percentage this will be faster if you want to get it back to 20, if you want to get this back to the 120 frames per second, let's pull out a calculator. I'm going to do 120 frames divided by 24, and we get five. So we're going to have to times it by f we're going to have to times it by five. So it'll basically be five per 500 percent that it's going to have to speed up to get it to, get, to go at its re at what would look like a normal uh, speed. So I'm going to grab this line here. This is all the section before this point here, and we're going to grab that and drag it up. And it will sometimes run out of space. You can just keep dragging up, dragging up, dragging up until you get to 500 percent. Right there, let go, and look how it 
decrease the length of this clip right here because now that is playing at regular 500%. It's going to go 500% and then slow down to, and then it will slow down for the move. And then we got the ending here. So I'll play through it. And there he slows down. And now let's turn the ending up to 500% as well. Right there, let go. And then at the end, let's stretch that out a little bit. As it's slow-mo in the air, it hits the end and he speeds out of it. So now we've got this little burst. Whew, there you go, like my sound effect, and then it speeds up. Now if I want to smooth that out a little bit more, so it kind of gradually moves into that slow motion instead of suddenly just changing to slow motion, you've got your keyframes here that you can spread these out here. This will turn your keyframe into a Bezier curve, blending from the 500% to the regular to the 500% again. And you can click on this and it highlights these little sections here and you start dragging it to the right or grabbing this other one and dragging to the left. And now what it does is it's going to gradually move into this here. So here it's going 500%, then it will go in this linear fashion and just and gradually go to the go to the, the, the slow motion speed. But also look what you can do. If you click on this, you've got this little Bezier curve right here. And you can rotate this like this, and it will make more of a gradual kind of curve here instead of this linear fashion here. And it'll look a little bit more natural. So watch this as we play through it. Very subtle. I mean, we can make this a little less subtle by stretching that out a little bit more. So now you'll see how more gradual it kind of moves into the slow motion. And if we do this at the end as well, stretch that out, click on one of these and get my Bezier curve and soften that up a bit. And then it gradually goes back up to that speed. So you can kind of decide how fast or how quickly or slowly you want to move into those things. But now we've got our shot. So there's our shot. looks really nice. So when you select the clip and you go up to your effects controls tab, this is basically a mirror of what you're seeing down here. It's just up in the little control area up here. It's basically a mirror of what's going on down here and you can kind of have the same controls up here. I don't like this as much because you have a little bit more option for space down here. Down here you can show like this, this is kind of weird, you can toggle the automatic uh, range rescaling which basically shows how much of the area you're looking at down here kind of controlling the extremes between this. This is not changing how uh, this interprets the footage, it just sh is sh changing how you how you see what changes have been made. And then you can have the same controls over here where you grab your speed and do the change up here. It's just basically a different way. It's just basically a, a mirrored version on the effects control tab of controlling the time remapping. I w prefer it down here on the timeline as opposed to up here in this area there. And it's a little bit easier to kind of see what you're doing. Anyway, so it's a really cool tool inside of Premiere Pro. If you've got a, a camera that's capable of shooting high frame rates, even one that shoots at like 60 frames per second, which a lot of cell phones do, uh, you interpret it at, um, at 20 3.976 or 24 frames per second and you essentially get two and a half times uh, slow slow motion speed so even the 60 frames per second is a nice way to go uh, if you're trying to get a little bit of subtle slow motion so if you have any questions please post them thanks for watching and uh, be sure to watch my other episodes goodbye